How's it going YouTube? It's your boy Adrian Carr and I'm back at you with another one. Today we're going to talk about what a CMPC is and what you can do with a CMPC in the mental health field. Before this video starts, be sure to like and subscribe and to turn on my post notifications in order to stay up to date with my latest content. Okay, so first things first, what is a CMPC? So as I mentioned in my last video, a CMPC is a Certified Mental Performance Consultant. CMPCs are individuals who hold a master's or doctoral degree in a science-related field or a psychological-related field in order to become a mental performance consultant. Those are the two degrees that you have to have in order to pursue a CMPC. In order to become a CMPC, you must hold a master's or doctoral level degree in a science or psychological-related field. In order to even get the certification, you have to get a mentor level experience. It's kind of like a big brother system. Just think about it like as a, as a mentorship system also, like one person is training another person in order to get the certification. So if I hold a CMPC, I can mentor somebody else to get theirs. It's really like a, just a hand-me-down system. It's like I get the certification, this person can get it, that person can give it to another person. There are different areas within the sports psychology realm in which people can qualify for the CMPC certification. The one I'm familiar with is the clinical mental health counselor route. There's also like an educational psychology route and also a sports psychology route and a kinesiology route. There's many different ways to get the certification. It just has to qualify under the standards of what the board has for this, that's offering this applied certification. A CMPC can work with a wide variety of participants in the sports performance realm. I've seen CMPCs work with all sports teams, golf, swim and dive, hockey, wrestling, boxing, you name it, football, basketball, baseball, any sport you can think of, a CMPC is qualified enough to help that athlete reach peak mental performance. It is important to know that the CMPC certification does not engage in mental health delivery services like a state licensure program would. So for an example, an LPC is qualified in certain states to prescribe medication and to also give mental health delivery services as like a diagnosis and also referral sheets to different people. A CMPC may not have all that leisure because most CMPCs are stuck in the realm of just working with mental performance because that's what, that's what the certification stands for. It's a certified mental performance consultant. So, and you'll see a lot of people in the field, they'll obtain an LPC or LMFT license, like an actual counselor license first, and then they'll get the CMP second in order to add that more sports focused population group. So the CMPC is offered under the Association of Applied Sports Psychology, also known as ASP. Some people use the acronyms AASP, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind that. CMPCs are trained and qualified to enhance performance in many different ways. Here are a few that I can think of. CMPCs are qualified to reduce performance anxiety, improve concentration, alleviate anxiety and depression in sport and play, setting both short-term and long-term goals with student athletes, increasing and maintaining motivation within the athletic realm, improving communication in sport, recovering from an injury. CMPCs are trained in a variety of different ways. However, the foundation is really just helping the athlete reach peak performance and also finding different ways to hone their skills while also contributing what they learn in the mental side of things to enhance the physical. So moving forward, in order to receive a CMPC, you have to go through an intense mentored experience. So what a lot of people are doing, they're going on LinkedIn or they're going on Google and trying to find CMPCs in order to mentor under. And there are a few people out here that are charging between the 50 and $100 range for hour sessions. However, there's some people that are willing to do it for free. So it just depends on your look and who you find. So in order to complete the mentor experience, you have to get 400 total hours underneath the mentor recorded and documented. So what that looked like is 200 hours direct client contact. So basically what that looked like is you have to obtain 200 hours face-to-face -face with athletes in the athletic setting and add that to your hours and just have that one-on-one -on -one time and that applied experience. So next will be 150 hours spent on support activities. So this can be you under your mentor on the sideline observing the sporting team or observing the athletes, watching your mentor um, lead workshops or lead sessions. This can be a variety of different things. You're just supporting the activities and you're there physically um, digesting that experience. And lastly is 50 hours of mentorship. So mentorship kind of reminds me of um, like a supervision. 
So basically, this is your, you and your mentor collaborating and sitting down, talking about how you're going to move forward, enhancing um, the, the lesson plans that y'all have, and just finding different ways to move forward with the plans that y'all have installed for the athletic population that y'all are working with, and uh, the mentor more so guiding you and teaching you different ways to um, hone your skills as a therapist in the field, and also different just skills and techniques that you never learned before or it could be different skills that you learned before but the, the mentor is supposed to just help you enhance those skills and lead you forward so the first thing you want to do is just get a mentor just flat out just find a mentor google email call them that's going to be the hard part is just finding somebody second you're going to want to complete all your hours after you complete all your hours then you're almost done after you complete all your hours, you get all the signatures done, you, you submit all your information to the Certification Council. Once the Certification Council approves everything, then they'll set you up for an exam. So the CMPCs do take an exam. In order to be fully certified, you must have a passing score. I'll make another video on information about the exam because it's still kind of tricky and hard for me to understand. However, I will drop another video on more information about the exam and what a passing score looks like. Okay, so moving forward, once you qualify for the exam and you schedule it, take it, pass it, then you become a certified mental performance consultant. CMPCs work so many different jobs, it's very diverse. I've seen people get hired with Major League Baseball, the NBA, the NFL, college sports teams. There's so many jobs out there for CMPCs just at a master's level. The really cool part about this certification is that they're hiring people straight out of their master's degrees. And for those of you that don't want to get your PhD, this will be the best option for you if you want to work in the sports population without a PhD. I've seen people get hired to the Olympic Committee, um, college teams, like I said, professional teams. Some people work in high school level. It's, it's really a beneficial thing, you know, because a lot of people don't have the time, the money, even just like life. Some people don't have the life to just fully uh, immerse themselves to get a PhD because it's just so tedious, you know. Another benefit that I like to add to this video is that once you get your CMPC, you can also open up an LLC business and you can have your own private practice, your own sports consulting business. So there's a lot of benefits in the CMPC. Like I said, I'll go more into detail about the exam and the study material and stuff like that in another video. Again, if somebody is really wanting to work in a sports population and also have a license, professional counselor license, this would be the perfect combination to add together in order for you to be licensed in your state to work with a general population and to also be um, also in the sports realm working with student athletes or professional athletes, however you want to do it. The CMPC plus the counselor license will make you more marketable and it also won't allow you to put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, that's all I have for y'all today. Thank you for watching my video and y'all have a great day.